For many, the 1991 San Francisco 49ers is considered to be the best NFL team to not make the playoffs. But in my humble opinion, there's a team that I thought that was better than the 91 49ers or the 2008 New England Patriots that didn't make the playoffs. And this team is never mentioned about the best NFL teams that didn't make the playoffs. The team I'm talking about, the 2005 San Diego Chargers. And in this video, I'll talk about the talent on this Chargers team and why they didn't make the playoffs. So to begin, the San Diego Chargers were entering the 2005 NFL season after going 12-4 the previous season, and this team was loaded with Marty Schottenheimer as a head coach. In San Diego, they had Drew Brees at quarterback, who was not a good QB during his first three seasons in the NFL, which prompted the Chargers to select quarterback Eli Manning first overall, who was eventually traded in a package that landed Phillip Rivers in San Diego. But anyways, Brees, he played really well in 2004, which was the beginning of his path toward Canton. In addition, the 2005 San Diego Chargers had arguably the best running back in LaDainian Tomlinson, arguably the best block and fullback in Lorenzo Neal, arguably the best tight end in Antonio Gates, arguably the best nose tackle in Jamal Williams, and arguably the best edge rusher in Sean Merriman. Now I know Merriman was a rookie in 2005 and was elite for a short period, but around this time, Merriman, he was extremely tough coming off the edge. And also just for the heck of it, I'll throw in Hannock Milligan, who was arguably the best special teamer as he was an all pro in 2005. But aside from the names I mentioned, San Diego also had some really solid starters like wide receiver Keenan McCardle, center Nick Hardwick, guard Chris Dillman, who would later become one of the top guards in the NFL, and on defense, San Diego, they had linebacker Donnie Edwards, and also Sean Phillips, who was young at this time, but later on, he wound up being a very good linebacker for the Chargers. And also, all Marty Schottenheimer teams, they get really good play from the cornerbacks, as corners Quinton Jammer and Drayton Florence were good tandem 2005, some Chargers fans might disagree with me on Drain Florence. But anyways, and lastly, I have to mention that San Diego, they had a ridiculous backfield trio with Tomlinson, Michael Turner, and Darren Sproles. So this was an ultra-talented team. 2004 was not a fluke, but the thing with this 2005 Chargers team is that they played one of the most difficult schedules I've ever seen, as this schedule was challenging and interesting. So in regards to the schedule, the AFC West teams, they'd be playing the teams in the NFC East, and in 2005, the NFC East had the Giants with Tom Coughlin and Eli Manning, who won the NFC East in 2005. The NFC East also had Dallas and Washington with Hall of Fame coaches and Bill Parcells and Joe Gibbs. And then there's Philadelphia with Andy Reid and Donovan McNabb and more on these Eagles later on. Moreover, in 2005, AFC West teams would also play the AFC East teams who had New England, who just won three Super Bowls in the past four years. The New York Jets, who were a playoff team around this time when Chad Pennington was healthy, but this year he wasn't healthy, as the Jets went 4-12 in 2005. The Miami Dolphins, who had become a trendy Super Bowl pick in 2006 under Nick Saban, and the Buffalo Bills, who I really don't have anything much to say about. Then the AFC West, which of course they had the Chargers. Then the Broncos, who went 13-3 this season with Mike Shanahan and a strong defense. The Chiefs with Dick Vermeil, with running back Larry Johnson, who had an insane second half of the season. And the Raiders, who again, I really don't have much to say. But furthermore, the Chargers, with their first place schedule, also had to play the Pittsburgh Steelers, who were coming off of a 15-1 season, and then would win the Super Bowl in 2005. And then the Chargers, they'd also have to play the Indianapolis Colts with Peyton Manning, and more on these Colts later on. The 2005 season for the Chargers was going to be a difficult one, with some heartbreaking losses and a strange scheduled quirk. For the first game of the 2005 season, the Chargers, they would lose to Dallas 28-24 as Drew Brees threw an interception in the end zone with 24 seconds left to play. Then for the second game, at Denver, San Diego, they were up 14-3, but they lost due to a Jason Elam game-winning 41-yard field goal with 5 seconds left. But in San Diego's third game, they blew out a strong New York Giants team and then blew out the New England Patriots at New England. The same Patriots coming off back-to-back -back Super Bowl titles. But then here's where things get interesting and I saw something that I never saw before. For San Diego's next three games, they would be playing teams that are coming off a of bye. In fact, four of their next five opponents would be coming off of the bye week. I never saw a team having to play this many teams in a season coming off of a bye. Please comment below if you know of any other examples. But anyways, this challenging stretch, it started off against the Pittsburgh Steelers who defeated the Chargers due to a 40-yard field goal from Jeff Reed with 6 seconds left for the 24-22 Pittsburgh win. The Chargers then, they would defeat the Raiders for the next game, but then against the Eagles, another strange game would transpire. 
At this time, the Eagles had Donovan McNabb and Brian Westbrook, and the Eagles were not at that point in 2005 where they had to suspend Terrell Owens indefinitely. But anyways, as for the game, with the Chargers lining up for a 40-yard field goal with about two and a half minutes left to play and a chance for the Chargers to go up 20-13, to but instead what transpired, the field goal was blocked in return for a touchdown, and the Chargers lost to the Eagles 20-17. to but the Chargers, they'd bounce back and win their next two games against the Chiefs and the Jets. San Diego, they'd be going into their bye week with five wins and four devastating losses. But San Diego, they would win their next three games, but then lost to the Miami Dolphins 23-21 as there were thoughts that possibly the Chargers were looking ahead to their next opponent. The undefeated Indianapolis Colts were 13-0 at this point. But San Diego's play made the 72 Dolphins very happy as the Chargers won at Indianapolis 26-17 to improve the record to 9-5 and five, as their 5 losses were by a combined 14 points. But strangely, San Diego did not play well during their last two games as they lost at Kansas City and lost at home to Denver to finish 9-7. and seven. During their loss to Denver, Drew Brees, he suffered a torn labrum and this Chargers team with so much talent was not able to make the playoffs. I think the 2005 San Diego Chargers is the best team I ever saw to miss the NFL playoffs from a talent standpoint. And for some reason, I've never seen this team being talked about in terms of best NFL teams to miss the playoffs. San Diego outscored their opponents by 106 points while playing one of the hardest, if not the hardest schedule ever, which included playing four teams coming off a bye in a five week stretch. Now I did make a video already about the Drew Brees, Philip Rivers situation, in which I really don't want to get into that much. But what I want to say is that this core of Chargers players that I mentioned with Phil Rivers at quarterback, had an outstanding 2006 season going 14-2, but they lost in the divisional round to New England. Then Marty Schottenheimer, he would not return, and then for the 2007 season, San Diego. They played the undefeated Patriots tough in the AFC Championship game, but lost as this was with Phil Rivers and LaDainian Thompson not being healthy. From 2004 to 2007, San Diego had an extremely talented roster, and perhaps arguments could be made that some of these teams could be on list for best teams to not make a Super Bowl. But strangely, it wasn't meant for the 2005 Chargers to play in the postseason and make a Super Bowl run. I just think how close it probably could have been him if he'd have won the starting job on the cards of Paul. Watch out, Donnie Edwards laterals after the pick. And here go the Chargers, adding six more. That's Clinton Hart with the touchdown. In the hands of Clinton Hart. And the Chargers are sticking an ugly one on the Patriots here in Foxborough. Sean Phillips deflects the pass. Donnie Edwards gets it. 41-17. And the last time they lost at home late in the season, 2002, to the Jets. A span, if you will, of 1,012 days and 1.4 million people through the turnstiles later. Real quick, I just want to thank all those who have supported 90 Sports Nostalgia. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and check out the links below for Patreon and merch. Thank you so much. The best NFL team to not make the playoffs, the 2005 San Diego Chargers.